everybody out there, my name is Sean Joy, aka Dragnix from Tech Raptor, and this is Karate Master 2 Knocked Down Below. This is my first impressions of this game, and I want to begin by saying that I got a key from the developer to take a look at this game, so keep that in mind for any possible bias. Now, this is $9.99 in Steam Store, and it's sort of a mix-up of a traditional fighting game, more realistic in that sense though, with RPG and simulation elements. It will work for some people, and I do think it has some strengths to it. However, there are some real flaws with it in terms of teaching mechanics and people who don't like to experiment. So if you're sort of wanting to be handheld via your experience, you're not going to like this game. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about by playing a little bit for you. Alright, so this is your fighter. Basically, your fighter wants to become a crowd master. He decided one day that, you know, his construction job wasn't really cut out for him and he just wants to, you know, wants to punch people in the face. But, but basically, there are a couple of stats that you got to keep in mind. S strength is the amount of that you hit with. Toughness is the amount of damage you can take. Speed, the amount you can, you know, really hit in terms of speed, obviously. That's what speed is. Taikate, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what it is. I think it has something to do with the limb, the hit of the limbs, but I'm not sure. And Kai is sort of a cr critical chance at this point um sort of like a, the chance of really you know dealing some damage to your enemies and I, i'm going to show you exactly what that all means as we go along but first we're just going to get right into it we're going to go and fight at the local sports hall now there are two different types of fights there's the helmet version and the non-helmet version i'm going to do the non-helmet version here or the helmet version here where you can hit hey, people in the head with, with punches so basic controls, you can go left and right, and your idea is to knock out your opponent or to deal as many hits as you can before the time runs out for each round. You're never going to hit a round out in, from my experience, at least early on. So you can notice here that we're just sort of punching and kicking each other, and I knocked him out. Well, how did I do that? Also, he doesn't look very well. I put this on the extreme violence portion. A little blood, you know, it doesn't hurt anybody, at least in my mind. So, now the idea here is, is that there is a, that each section of your body has a certain amount of damage you can take. And so you'll see on the right there, the, the person is getting hit and his body parts are getting highlighted. That means that damage is being done to that portion. If it gets to all the way red, that means he's going to not be able to continue with it in that fight. And so, you can have special effects like that, like breathless, which will stun him for a little bit because I hit him that many times in the chest area. Simple enough. Now you'll notice that this seems easy and that's part of the problem that the game has. There is an RPG element to it in which you gain strength and toughness as I showed you before. It then becomes a little bit easier to deal with enemies as opposed to the first sections where, you know, you're not very strong and you're able to deal with the enemies in question, which is a shame actually. What, why is it a shame? Well, here's the thing. There's a lot of technical precision here in terms of like ability to block moves. Like I can block high, medium, or low. If I block at the right time, let's see if I can get actually do this. It's really hard, unfortunately, to get the timing. If I am able to block at the right time, I'm able to counter. And counters do a hell of a lot more damage. But the problem is, is that as you gain strength, as you saw there, it sort of slows down there and really takes advantage of the section in question where it's just like he's going to hit you, he blocks, it sort of slows down, and then he can really hit you hard. I won the tournament. The problem is, is that I'm stronger than everybody, and right now this is really the only way to gain fame at this point, which is sort of a shame because, well... It's easy at this point. It doesn't really scale very well. Now, you do have certain things that come up in terms of more challenges, but this is easy fame for me to gain. Money is earned by, you know, working my construction job, and I do need to spend a little bit in order to work at these stadiums and, you know, fight at this point. Let's go and do a different fight. As you unlock fame, you'll be able to challenge Dojo Masters. So I'm going to challenge the Dojo Karate Senken, these guys seem to be a little bit harder. It's still, still the same combat, and he's going to be able to, you know, deal a little bit more damage to me, and has a little bit more of those special moves, like that back fist. I have those too because I learned them in that training. Up. Oh. Yep, I hit him in the brain enough, so he's a little bit shocked. Hopefully, I can take advantage of this. Ooh, uh, nice little chop there. You can see I'm just focusing on the head, 
and that's really the advantage in terms of this fighting. Once you get to a body part in terms of the fighting portion, like I'm going after the head, the AI is not smart enough to start blocking the head, unfortunately. It will do blocking, but it won't c consistently block. Now on your side, if you're taking a lot of damage in the middle, you can sort of go back to that block mechanism that I showed you before. The AI isn't exactly the greatest in this portion. All right, now, obviously I beat that dojo guy, and let's do the other dojo that I think is at Fame 50 right now. Is that Team HD? No, that's not Team HD. Uh, the, no, that's Fame 90. Definitely not going to be able to do that, or the wrestling club. Um, dy dynamic. I guess I'm not, I guess I already beat it or something, or I just don't know where it is. Now, let's do one more section of fights just to show you guys a little bit more at this point um again the fighting is reasonable and it's got a lot of different moves and different hey, attacks that really could take advantage of the sort of complications that the, that fighting has it's not just punching and kicking i mean really blocking dodging at the right time the technical precision the the system here really does allow for it it just Unfortunately, with the RPG elements, never really comes into play if you go that route. Now, I will say the first two hours of gameplay was a lot funner in terms of the technical precision there. Because you really had a focus on those hits. Now, you would lose and you would take, you know, get experience to level up in portions, but really it just never came to fruition in terms of it continuing that along the game's progression. You're becoming a karate master, but I wish it would level with you. Now, you do see, like, special guys unlocked here. At the start, you only have karate guy 1, 2, 3, and 4, but as you unlock hey, dojos, you'll get more people to fight. You'll also have special cases where the opponent will be able to hit you and sort of cause you enough damage to, like, break a bone. I've never been able to do that, and I'm not even sure if you're able to do that as the player character. But then you'll go through a training sequence in which you have to like work yourself way back to um, fighting format. See, I'm not really, I'm just sort of focusing on, let's just focus on the middle part here. He's focusing on my middle part. I could go for the head again. I usually go for the head in the in this section because it's just so much more effective. And I'm, I'm just in hitting buttons, unfortunately. Rip. Now, it does try to set for the rules in terms of the regular karate, you know, the ring out and things like that. In the headless, the helmetless portion, you know, what you can't punch in the face. Oops, that was a critical hit. You do see a Kai meter. With your Kai meter there for your hit, there's a chance of critical. So if you just keep on punching like this, it's never going to really hit that critical portion. However, the... All right, assault of the portion will really just do it. And I beat him in the head anyway. So, I'm sort of mixed. As it goes along, it does introduce new challenges in which you can really, you know, sort of test your might, per se. But the thing is, is that this one section, this, you know, this combat, for a good amount of time, you have to use those tournaments in order to earn reputation and to fight some of these dojos which unfortunately doesn't work to its advantage now later on you have things like the boxing stadium and the budokan which may be able to unleash that challenge a little bit but unfortunately i haven't gotten to that portion yet all right what about training well training is a little bit different so let's go with like strength training for example you can train yourself to level up your character in certain ways. Now, here's the problem. Let's try the baseball bat one. And this is going to show you a, a little bit of where I have problems with the game. All right, so am I? what am I supposed to do? Well, it doesn't really tell you. Okay, do I need to hit it when it's in the middle? Do I need to... What do I need to do here? Does Tamashi Hara mean something? Well, that's the problem. The game isn't really teaching you exactly what it wants from you okay there we go there we go i don't I, I don't know exactly what did that okay it wants me to kick it wants me to specifically kick at this cer certain portion all right that's good to know but i wasted a good amount of time just figuring that out and so the game has a problem with teaching you the blocking mechanism for example doesn't ever teach you about it in terms of 
the game's mechanics. And that's really a shame because it really is a very strong mechanism of the game, this blocking and then taking advantage of it. All right, let's do one more training session for you guys. Let's do, let's do the Kai. Ah, frozen water. Yes, because we all know that karate masters are able to deal with frozen water and won't get hypothermia. They're able to just, you know, deal with it. So basically, I gotta hit it as it moves along. These are little simple mini games that, you know, make you sort of connect with the character, like going through a struggle. You also will earn money by doing the construction job in question, which at first it's like, okay, I see what they're going for, you know, start with the simple, make them sort of earn their keep, but it's the only way to make money at this point. There, later on, there's the boxing portion, but it gets really old after the 10th time or the 12th time that you gotta do it. All right, and punching the air, punching the air. This water doesn't look very frozen now, does it? So I've leveled up my Kai. I believe it can go to level nine based on the achievements I see, but don't know if it can go any beyond that. All right, so let's do one more thing while we're here at this point. Let's do something a little bit different, how about? Let's just, let's fight a bull. Yeah, for some reason we can fight a bull. Karate Deathmatch. So he's gonna come at me. Now there are special moves that you've learned in this game and I've found that, you know, against certain enemies it's really good, like this jump kick here that I wasn't able to pull off. It takes all four buttons and the forward button, so let's see if I can time it right. There we go. Uh, he hit me though, that sort of sucks. There we go, he's still hitting me though. Uh, can I block him? Nope. <laughs> I, I think I hit that block too. So it's a question of, can I do enough damage to the bull at this point? Why am I fighting a bull? Because I'm a karate master, that's why. It also also does this little Epon Red thing, which is usually your enemy in the tournament portion, which obviously I'm not fighting one of them at this point. So that's really the game. Now, Waza here, you can learn different abilities like the Kat Katangiri, the Yushiro Marasa Tsuki. I am totally batching this. I apologize to the entire Japanese community. Uh, Tobi Yoko Giri, 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 Yushiro Mahashi Giri, and then the G Kato Giri. Um, it does, these do come into play in terms of it really does like this fast backhand really does enhance the gameplay in terms of like, okay, I can really use that to certain advantage. This sort of Katangiri, this one's a little bit weird because it has a secondary effect. If you hit the floor during a karate match um, that like they show, you will actually have to reset at that point. It gives you time to sort of recover, generate your Kai if it's low, but so does the opponent. So, so really, this is Karate Master 2 Knockdown Below. It's a game that sort of design works against it at times, unfortunately. It just doesn't ever consistently keep up the design elements in terms of working to its advantage. And I I'm gonna fight the boxing club here for one last go around here. I'm gonna just bat mash buttons up. Oh, I caused a muscle injury, so his legs are hurting. Or is it the middle? Yeah, no, I think it's his legs that are hurting. You can, you can hear that sound, though. Sound design as well. I'm just gonna kick you. How about if I just kick you? You're probably a boxing match master, so... Yeah, unfortunately, it fails on that level, and the difficulty... sort of tails off. But I will say that I've enjoyed my time with this game. I mean, when you are on the same level as your opponents, it works. It works really well. And... As it goes along, it still introduces that as you go along at a slightly slower pace than I would like, but the technical precision, when it comes into play, really works. But as you saw there, when it doesn't, it's just be punching things over and over again. All right, this is Dragnix, aka Sean George, signing out. I hope you got an idea of exactly what Karate Master 2 Knockdown Below it is offering for you. For those fighting fans and those RPG technical people out there, you may enjoy this. Um, I won't say this is for everybody, that's for sure. Um, I think the fact that it doesn't really teach you anything and the sort of weird learning curve in terms of 
the weird progression curve is a little bit strange. But other than that, there are some positives to this. And I would recommend for those fighting games fans who are looking for a little bit more detailed experience to take a look at it. All right, I will see you guys later.